Greetings folks, and in this video we're going to be working with the gallery control showing a workaround to select more than one item out of the gallery control. It's by default you can only select one. So we'll just go ahead and insert the gallery to start off with. I'm just going to hook this up to a SharePoint list called Expenses, change the layout to Title, Subtitle, and Body, insert another horizontal gallery, set it off to the side, insert a checkbox We're going to set the on check property of the checkbox to collect. We'll create a collection. We'll call this uh, collection one. So whenever we check this checkbox, this item will be collected into collection one. So we'll go ahead and set the second gallery. That data source will be collection one. And then when we un uncheck the checkbox, we will remove this item from collection one. Okay. So now you can add as many items as you want to that collection. And go ahead and remove them. So far, so good. Go ahead and change uh, some of these fields in the second gallery. You can also use a toggle control. This will act the same way as the checkbox control. We'll go ahead and set the on check to collect collection one this item and the uncheck will be remove collection one this item. And it behaves the same way as the checkbox. Copy Gallery 2. And this new gallery we just created, we're going to set that to Collection 2. Now we're going to get a little bit crazy. We're going to use a rating control and change the on select property using a switch function where rating one dot value comma one so when the value of the rating control is one we will collect in collection one this item and when the value is two we will remove 
from collection one, this item. And when the rating has a value of four, we will collect into collection two, this item. And then set the rating value of five to remove from collection two, this item. So you can go ahead and add the same item to the collection over and over again if you'd like, and then remove it. If you really wanted to be a little complicated, you could use a slider control, just the same way as the rating, use the switch function, and that way you could create ranges, 0 to 10, 20 to 30, whatever you'd like. And you could set all sorts of conditions. So now you've learned a little bit of a trick on how to select multiple items out of a gallery. And have fun with that.